OK. So um, ladies and gentlemen, so far when we've been factoring, we have been concerned or solving by factoring. We have been con um, focused on only solving when, the, when we had two terms or three terms. Well, here's an example of four terms. And so one thing we can do is factor by grouping. And basically factoring by grouping, what that tells us to do is we group the first two terms and we group the last two terms. Now what we do is we factor out the GCF out of each of those first set and second sets. So the GCF out of this first set is 2x squared. And when I factor out a 2x squared, I'm left with a x plus 1. Here, you can see that I can factor out a negative 3. And when I factor out a negative 3, I'm left with an x plus 1 equals 0. Now, in previous focus lessons, we did problems like this where you guys had to factor out the GCF. And what you guys can see is that the common factor here is x plus 1, right? So we factor out x plus 1 now. Now, by doing that, I have now obtained a product that is equal to 0. So in our other focus lesson, we learned that when we have a product set equal to 0, we can apply the 0 product property. 2x. Oh, thank you very much. So I have three products, right, that are equal to 0. Thank you. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. Very well. Perfect. Thank you. Keep me on task, or keep me honest. OK? So we can easily solve this one. That's easy. Over here, the um, problem from here could be right up there on the What? Yeah, it's, I'm not doing the problem on there. I'm just doing a random problem. That's what I'm saying. If you are good doing these problems, just do them. This is just a random problem. So, and Keith, what I was looking in this is last class period, we, we talked about um, using the square root method. That's what you'd have to do here. So you would add 3. You'd have 2x squared equals positive 3. Divide by 2. x squared equals 3 halves. To get rid of the square root, you would, or sorry, to get rid of the square, you take the square root. So x equals plus or minus. I can't take the square root of 3 halves, so I'm going to separate it into the square root of 3 divided by the square root of 2. So therefore, that tells me I can rationalize my denominator. x equals plus or minus the square root of 6 over 2. So I have two answers there and one answer there. So that's basically what you guys do in the first box.